Sinestra. Here we are again with yet another Game Boy Advance title that I barely knew about that turns out to be a kick-ass game. Drill Dozer is a good old-fashioned action platformer with style and substance. The visual style here is like something from an early 2000s Cartoon Network show, like it was spawned in the Powerpuff Girls universe or something. The colors, the music, the energy, there's lots of great looking and varied environments throughout the game. Everything here is just bursting with life. It's great. But that wouldn't matter for Squad if the game didn't have any substance behind it. Here you play as Jill, who operates a drill. Dozer. She's the daughter of a gang leader who was attacked, and their most valued possession, the powerful Red Diamond, was stolen, and it's up to her to get it back. Throughout the game, you fight the head of the rival gang named Krug, who's a recurring boss. There's 17 huge stages here. Thankfully, the inevitable tutorial at the beginning that seemingly every game made in the 21st century has now is mercifully short. You ride around in a tank and use the shoulder buttons to drill through walls, grind up enemies, solve puzzles, and find hidden areas. You're able to level up your drill to a certain extent the same way you'd level up your whip in a Castlevania game, for example. However, with the drill, there's a timing mechanic you have to master to utilize the higher gears. And to the game's credit, it's very easy to get the hang of. The only annoying thing is this full screen overlay that comes up every time you hold down the drill button. That kind of gets old after a while. But yeah, just the simple mechanic of drilling walls and taking out enemies with your drill is the best part of Drill Dozer. It's really satisfying, especially when you obtain the third gear. But more than that, the more you play this game, the more you'll be smiling and nodding and saying, dang, that's a pretty cool idea. Idea. Drill Dozer came up with a ton of clever uses for the drill, like using it as a screwdriver to remove obstacles with the left shoulder button loosening and the right tightening. Just on a personal note here, I've got kind of a thing for action platformers. I've gone through a bunch on NES and SNES, and even a few on Game Boy Advance, just trying to see what makes each game unique. And to my amazement, I keep finding games that are still distinctly their own. Drill Dozer is certainly that, from the clever level design, to the boss fights, to the enemy design, to of course, the main mechanic of drilling stuff. There really isn't another game like this, and that's the highest compliment I can give this game. The only real problem with Drill Dozer is that I just wanted more. This came out late in the Game Boy Advance lifespan so it wasn't going to get a sequel there. But why no other games anywhere else? That's disappointing. One other thing worth mentioning is that the Drill Dozer cartridge itself has a built-in rumble pack, so the game would have a rumble effect each time you drill. That'd get pretty old after a while, but it's still pretty creative. If It's one of two games to have that feature, along with WarioWare Twisted. Anyway, yeah, like I said earlier, this is another game I barely knew about that I played just on a whim, and it turns out to be freaking great. Drill Dozer is really fun, and the best way to describe it is unique. You won't find these kind of gameplay elements, or the look and sound of this game, anywhere else. The cartridge usually goes for $30 on eBay and Amazon. That's not too bad if you want to experience the rumble feature for yourself. But yeah, Drill Dozer is definitely worth playing today. Such an unexpected great game I never hear mentioned anymore.